and special salt transform your health. I'm Sarah Banta with Accelerated Health TV and radio show. And today we're talking about a top cardiologist has shared his diet secrets and exercise regimen for keeping a healthy heart. And what is he saying? Balanced Mediterranean diet has one glass of red wine four to five days a week and seasons his dinners with a special potassium enriched heart salt. So what is all this about? And are all salts the same? Well, he said that he started using this salt and it's heart salt to keep his blood pressure under control and reduce heart attacks and strokes. Now we've been told not to eat too much salt, right? Wars have been fought over salt, but it was ancient seabed sea salt, not the table salt, the iodized full of plastic um, salts that we are we are thinking of. So where did things change? In 1977, we received advice to eat a low fat, low salt diet. Senator George McGovern and his committee led the push for a low salt and uh, low fat diet guidelines. They told us to eat 1.2 grams of sodium based on scientific opinions, published in a review paper saying that two requirements had to be met for someone to have a rise in blood pressure from eating normal amount of sodium. Those requirements to eat a low potassium diet. Now remember, potassium and sodium work together or they have to be genetically susceptible. So I wanna take a step back and tell you about my personal story with salt. My son, athlete, burns it, burns it at both ends. When he was 15, his heart was stopping. He actually had to pump his heart to get it to start up again. And we were told that he needed to be on a low salt diet. So the measurement of sodium in his blood looked high. So guess what happened when we actually took salt out of his diet? Did he feel better? Was his heart better? No. And did the salt or the sodium in his blood measure any lower? No. Why? Because the body's smart. If you don't give it what it needs, it's going to hold on to everything it has. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. Now, his heart, totally fine now. What did he need? He needed not just sodium, but he needed potassium and all of the other electrolytes. When you're working out so much and you're sweating, and also when your brain is working hot, you need extra salt. So now let's go back to the studies. Later, salt was wrongfully attacked in an unfounded 1984 NHANES study and further created this erroneous belief about low salt and no salt diets. The study was faulty because it was conducted with table salt, not the salt our body really needs, and the only rise in blood pressure, which was insignificant, were from ethnic tribes who had never consumed processed foods before. Oh my goodness. So since that time, there's been this unwarranted fear of salt resulting in skyrocketing sales of statin drugs and diabetes. Now, this goes along with all that I've been talking about with um, processed foods, big food, diabetes, insulin resistance, uric acid, they're all connected, right? So let's go over some um, facts. You've got that sodium potassium pump. The sodium potassium pump is inside and outside every cell and it drives the nutrients into the cell and escorts the toxins out of the cell. That's why it works well with the accelerodyne iodine because the iodine actually kicks those toxins out. But The sodium helps plump up the blood to get those toxins moving out of the body, right? And it happens in all 100 trillion cells of the body. So we really need to understand the importance of salt. Animals will walk miles to lick a rock with salt. I used to ride horses and you would give horses these salt licks in the summertime to get that proper sodium in. If I'm sweating after a workout, maybe this is too much information. My dogs come up and they like to lick my legs because they taste the salt. So they are wired to want salt. And that's why we actually crave salt, but we wanna be craving the right salt. If you go to the emergency room for trauma, what do they give you? An IV of salt or saline, right? 
and there are only five grams of glucose or sugar in the blood at one time, there's 16 grams of sodium in the bloodstream. Sugar is driving the high blood pressure and heart disease, not sodium. The kidneys retain salt when you eat a high carb diet. When you're on a low carb diet, your kidneys will release sodium and potassium. And that's why it's even more important to um, supplement with the electrolytes and the right salt if you are on a low carb diet, especially in the beginning. We lose two teaspoons of salt with four cups of coffee. So for all of you out there drinking your coffee, add a little of the accelerated salt to your coffee. That will balance things out. Things that make you lose salt, exercise, hot weather, low carb diet, high uses of the brain or mental function. So if you're studying for finals or if you're writing an, an article or if you're at work doing a really big task, your body is using up more sodium. Table salt is stored in mounds of salt domes to dry and collecting seagull and other bird droppings, yuck, and they're full of microplastics. Out of a study of 39 salts tested, 36 tested positive for microplastics. So you're actually in taking in the toxins that you're trying to kick out with the proper salt. Raw ancient seabed sea salt has a chemical structure of sodium chloride, plus the valuable trace minerals and table salt is primarily sodium chloride only. And they add in iodine, they think they do, or iodide, which is very difficult for the body to break apart from the sodium to use. So it really means nothing. And it's filled with those toxins. So you're taking in the toxins that you're actually trying to kick out. Iodine, another mineral that's missing in table salt, is added, but it actually only has 20% um, absorption, if that. And so, and most salts are not even iodized anymore. If you're craving salt, you need salt. Salt controls your potassium and magnesium balance. No study shows that lowering salt causes an increase in heart failure or mortality rate. Interesting, right? In fact, lowering salt in your diet can increase all-cause mortality. Most people with a risk of heart disease are already on medication that are diuretics, ridding the body of salt. So most of those heart medications are lowering your blood pressure by making your blood more like molasses. So your beats are slower, but your heart is working harder. It's like molasses. Just imagine that. So the diuretics can't work. This results in a large retention of fluid to salt ratio because the body's not able to pump that thick fluid around the body that mimics molasses. So how much salt should you have a day? And of course, we're talking about the accelerated ancient salt or any other complete salt. The accelerated ancient salt is full of 62 minerals. It is enhanced with scalar frequencies, and we'll get in that into that in a more in a in a minute. But we're told that we're not to have more than two grams a day, but we really need three to six grams of sodium a day, which equates to about one and a half to one and three fourths teaspoon a day. Put it on your food, in your water, in your coffee, put a little bit on your tongue if you're nauseous or you're trying to intermittent fast. During exercise, you lose one half to one teaspoon of salt per hour of exercise. If you're exercising in an 80 uh, degrees or above, you want to take one half teaspoon of salt with 12 ounces of water about a half hour before you work out and it will do wonders. When you preload with salt, all of you athletes listen to this, it allows you to exercise 21 minutes longer before you get fatigued. So it increases the plasma volume volume, which cools you down and your heart rate is lower. No pre-workout supplement can do this. Um, so if you don't have enough salt, what happens? You literally will have your body pull magnesium, calcium, sodium, and potassium from your bones to trick your body, body into thinking you have enough magnesium and calcium. And so then it will stop the absorption of those essential minerals. To conserve more sodium, your body's going to sweat out more magnesium and calcium. Aldosterone, one of the stress hormones, increases, which kicks out magnesium in the urine. 
So you see how this is really important with your magnesium and 80% of you are deficient in magnesium. Low salt diets can lead to a 5% higher heart rate and only an insignificant 1% reduction in blood pressure. So this is um, really important to understand. Low salt increases stress hormones that stiffen the arteries. Low salt increases chronic hypertension and low salt diets can lead to insulin resistance even without eating sugar and worsen diabetes. So taking salt in can actually lower your blood sugar on the spot. So low, low salt increases triglycerides. Your body controls your salt intake. It's called the salt thermometer. When you don't get enough salt, sugar and drugs like Alderol or cocaine can hijack your salt gauge and thus you're, you're at risk for other addictions. So it also tricks your brain into thinking you want more sugar. And I go into that in my sugar addiction article and podcast if you're interested in that. So what are symptoms of sodium deficiency? You might get dizzy when you go from a seated position to a standing position. You might have muscle cramps, muscle spasm, exercise fatigue, when your sodium level is within the normal range, you, could you still be sodium de deficient? Yes. Look at your BUN number on the blood test. If it is high and your water intake is normal, it means that you don't have a good adrenal blood flow or kidney blood flow. If you're working on your adrenals and you have adrenal fatigue, you need salt and you need that complete salt. So what do you look for? and assault. You want to get rid of the microplastics and you want to also look for that um, seabed complete salt. The accelerated ancient salt is full of 62 minerals. It is, it, it is um, full of the, the right scalar technology frequencies that we add in to detox the body of the heavy metals and radiation. It works with the accelerodyne iodine to do so to help get your intracellular hydration complete and pump out the toxins of your cells. What else I love about the acceler or the accelerated ancient salt is just by putting it on your tongue, it squashes your appetite, helps you intermittent fast longer, gives you that energy. Your energy comes from hydration, not necessarily food. You've got plenty of fat stores on your body for you to burn. So use that salt for your intermittent fasting tool. Also use it to help with any nausea. A lot of people are getting nauseous when they're eating too much fat or protein, especially after the last three years with what's been going on. And we need to cleanse our liver to help with the protein and fat um, metabolism, but the accelerated ancient salt helps with that as well. It tastes amazing. I cook with it and I've gotten rid of most of my seasoning on my meats and my vegetables because the accelerated ancient salt tastes so great. You can also use it in a detox bath. So you put one tablespoon of the accelerated ancient salt in a bath and then you fill it up with a, a cup of just some regular dead sea salt that you can get off of Amazon or anywhere else. Um, so it's a really nice bath to help your body pull out the toxins out of the skin. Um, and it's really helpful to do it all at once. Your skin is your largest organ, right? So it's the easiest way for you to be detoxing. So hope you learned something about salt today. And yes, it can be good for your heart. I, of course, um, recommend and only use the Accelerated Ancient Salt. Works in conjunction with detoxing the body and all 100 trillion cells with the Accelerated Iodine. And tell me what you learned today. What salts have you been using? And let me know if the Accelerated Ancient Salt has helped you with your appetite, with your taste buds, with getting rid of your sugar cravings, or even your energy. If I can help you with your health issues, contact me directly through the website, sarahbantahealth.com. I'm happy to put together a protocol for you and join me on my free group coaching on Telegram with the link below. I teach you on a daily basis with tips and tools to enhance your health, and you will be a part of a like-minded group to 
support you on your journey in addition to truly taking control of your health. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Accelerated Health Products and across over 100 channels under Accelerated Health Radio and our TV and radio show. And my goal is to reach everyone on earth with eyes to see and ears to hear my message of healing. Help me with that goal and share this podcast with a few of your friends who may need my help. I cannot do it alone. Thanks so much. And you can also use coupon welcome 10 for 10% off site wide. Have a great week.